Hi coach, my name is Glenn. I'm the founder of Coach Vantage. And in this video, I'm going to show you something that lots of you are really interested in and rightfully so, which is what do your clients actually see in the client portal? So in this video, we're going to put on the lens of a client and see how they will view things in the client portal. We'll also take a look at how they will go through the enrollment steps of signing up to your programs as well as how they are booking an event or a, an appointment with you and how that will look like in the client's viewpoint. Ready? Let's begin. Over here on the contacts page, I'm going to start by firstly adding a contact. I click on the add contact button and I'm going to fill up this window that appears with the essential information. I filled up her name and email information. And over here in the drop down, I can select whether this is a current client, a lead, a past client, or a prospect. Let's begin by setting up this contact as a prospect. And over here, I can also check this box, which will immediately send an email to this contact, asking her to set up her client portal. Let's leave that out for now. And let's just add this contact. And now you'll see that very quickly, the contact record has been created. Over here, you'll see that the portal status says, send a portal invite. Assuming that you have had a discovery call with this contact and she says, yes, I'm really interested to sign up to your coaching program. Now, what we can do is send a portal invite firstly, or we can immediately invite this contact or this prospect into to enroll into one of your coaching programs. I'm going to select a coaching program for this example, and I'm going to select one of my signature coaching programs that I've already created, and then I'm going to invite the client. So I've chosen the Healthy Life Transformation Coaching and then I'm going to click send invite. If you notice the information here, it says that if the client already has an active account portal, they will receive an email to log into their account portal to register for this program. Otherwise, if they don't yet have a client portal, they will receive the email asking them to create the account portal first before they are able to register for the program. So in this case, this prospect does not yet have an active portal. So we'll send the invite and let's take a look at the email that this client receives. This is the email that the client has received stating that Jessica, the coach has invited her to sign up for the healthy life transformation coaching. We'll click on the sign up now button and as you can see, this brings up the create client account window. I'm now going to enter a password as the client to be able to log into my client portal. So I've chosen a secure password and now I'm going to create account. And here you'll see, this is what the client portal looks like on the dashboard page with a very clear notification that they have been invited to a coaching program. I'm going to click on view. And you'll notice here that this is the program card that's been created in the not started tab under coaching programs. And now as a client, I'm going to click sign up now. They will be taken to the landing page where they are presented with the payment options. The name and email is pre-populated. And as a coach, I had set up some additional information that I wish to collect from the program landing page. I'm going to fill up that information right now. I've completed the additional information and move on to the next step, which is where I will see the intake form that I have created as a coach on my program settings. And I'm going to fill that in now as a client. So I filled up the form information, click next, and I'm asked to select the first booking session. This is an optional step 
as a coach when you set up your programs. Now I will choose my payment option. I'm going to select one-time payment by credit card. And then this will take me to the checkout page over here. Now I'm going to enter my information as a client. Select pay. And now I've got a confirmation message. Back to the client portal now. This program has moved to in progress. And if I click on this card, I will be able to see all of the information that as a coach you have shared with me as a client. For instance, goals, assignments, resources, etc. And on my dashboard, I will see my upcoming appointments. And if I go to my appointments tab, if as a coach you have given permission to the client to book sessions from within the client portal, they can do so right here. So I'm going to book my next session here. Oops, let's choose a date a week later. So we're going to choose now the 15th of February. And I'm going to select 8 o'clock again because that time works well for me as a client. And I'm going to confirm my booking. And now you'll see two upcoming sessions here. And back to coaching programs, if I click on this, I will see the sessions specifically for this program. If I have more than one coaching program ongoing with a specific client, then I will see two or more program cards over here. Now let's take a look at the emails that the client has received. This is one of the emails in which the confirmation of payment has been made for the coaching program. They can view the invoice. And this other email here is a confirmation of signing up to the Healthy Life Transformation Coaching Program, including the details of the first appointment that was booked and any of the other information that was completed for the intake form, as well as for the additional personal information that was requested, like the mobile phone number and the date of birth. And this email here is a new appointment booking, which was made from within the client portal for the 15th of February. So this is a confirmation email. Now let's step back into the client portal. And here you can see there is also a page called my coach where I can look at my coach profile. This page contains information about my licenses and certifications and my contact information. These settings are all configurable in your coach account. I can also view my invoices as a client. And in this case, I've paid 300 euros for my program. I can take a look at the invoice and I can see the confirmation of what has been paid. I also have access to a profile page here where I can enter my mobile number or change my email or change my time zone if I need to, or change my password. Now let's take a step back into the coach portal to see other options for how a client can view their account portal after signing up for things like a discovery call, for instance. I'm logging back into my account as a coach. And here I have created a booking page for my discovery call. So let's take a look at what this page looks like. Now, assuming I am a new client or prospect that wants to book a discovery call, let's go through that process now. I filled up my information as a client. Now I'm going to enter some other information here. So I filled up the information or the intake form. And now I'm going to book a time for my meeting. And I'll be given a confirmation message. And let's take a look at the email that I'll receive. So as somebody who has booked an appointment, I now get a message. And I'm also able to either cancel the appointment or reschedule the appointment, depending on the settings that I've configured as a coach. And I can also add the appointment to my other external calendars here. 
you will notice that if I've made a booking for a discovery call or a one-off event, for instance, I'm not asked to create a client portal because it is not for a coaching program specifically. So this is an important thing to differentiate. When somebody makes a booking for an event from your booking page, they are not asked to create a client portal. This is simply to make a booking and then to show up at the right time for that appointment. I hope that helps giving you a good picture of what it looks like from the lens of the client.